Today we're going to cover the variable displacement hydraulic motor that we utilize on all C-series interrogators with new liter spinner boxes. So as we walk up to the, this machine, the hydraulic pump, which is a variable displacement hydraulic pump, is actually mounted to the rear of the CVT to the left side. So what do we have here is a compensator. And then actually we actually have another orifice plate here, which is the aluminum block. So for new leader, the front section of the pump controls the spinners and the main conveyor. And then if you turn to the rear, there is a gear pump mounted on the rear side, which is working the insert for the multiplier side. So we're focused on just on the front half of the pump today. So it's controlling, as I said, the spinners and the main conveyor. It is a variable displacement pump. So what I mean by that is with our engine management on the interrogator, we can run about 1650 to 1700 RPM and get full hydraulic capacity out of the system. So what happens is the pump actually will stroke up to the demand even at a lower RPM. This helps us tremendously on fuel consumption so we can run the engine at a lower RPM, burn less fuel, but still get the performance out of the box as far as on the new liter side of this thing as far as controlling the spinner speed which is a big key uh, for a lot of guys on spinners, making sure we keep the RPMs up at that manner. So, so with that being said, this before we run just gear pumps, with gear pumps, you have to control by the engine RPM. So the more engine RPM you have, the more flow you would have. So the variable displacement pump, we started utilizing in about the B-series interrogators. All the Cs have it. So. It is definitely a big benefit to us of today for controlling the oil, uh, fuel consumption and creating the best performance for the new liter box. Thank you for joining today.